All right. So today we're just, it's a hamstring focus, lady. So we're gonna start off with a seated hamstring curl, like always. Lock yourself in. Drive, squeeze for a second. Slow on the insert trick. You want to hit between five to eight reps. Now we're gonna lower the weight a bit for the back offset. And then we're hitting, we're gonna do seated hamstring curls first, calf raises, hack squats, RDLs, and that's it. But there's four exercises two exercises for the hamstrings, one exercise for the quads, and one exercise for the calves. Next, we're gonna hit uh, our calf raises on the donkey calf raise machine. The, the reason why we're hitting calf raises before our squatting movement and we hit the hamstrings before, is to warm up your legs and then this is to warm up your ankle mobility so your feet don't go up too much when you're going down. Your ankles will stay a little more flexible than normal. So, what you wanna do here is put the balls of your feet on this ledge here and then you go, underneath, get it like on top of your lower back. Stand up, slow down, pause at the bottom for like a second or two, and then go up to a neutral position, back down, up. Ready to warm and set, and that'll be it. Uh, so this is the back off set. But we're keeping the same way as my top set. So I hit it for the top of the rep range. Hack squats. I already warmed up a bit. This is gonna be my top set. So we hit this weight last time for five, so we want to hit it for five again, or if possible six. So get the belt on. Set up my feet so the placement that I like, which is usually about right here. Lock yourself in. Oh, I only hit it for four. Couldn't even hit for five. So I'll lower it a bit. Get it like five to eight. And then I'll be hit for hack squats. I usually do two working sets for every exercise. Because as long as you're training close to failure, that's what you want. And then you only really need two sets. You do a couple warm ups, as I usually do. So if you don't want to just draw on your heaviest set. Go straight into it. You want to warm up a little bit to it. So I do like two, three, maybe warm up sets. Just like one or two reps. After making the weight up to the my top sets. And then 
I'll do my top set after that. Alright, I'm gonna load this way. Alright, so this is gonna be the last set. I'm gonna try to get this as close to failure as possible. To really toast the quads, since this will be my only quad movement of the day. Get the belt on. And then, with that last set, I got four. It wasn't what I wanted, but you're not always going to get what you're aiming for. Because some days you're a little weaker, some days you're a little stronger. All the time. Got to lock in real quick. So hoodie's going up. The reason I put the hoodie up, because it gives you plus 10 strength. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Let's do it. I don't know, it helps me focus a little more. I don't know if it helps you guys too, but that's just me. So we're done with pack squats. Now we're gonna go do the last move of the day, which is RDLs, to finish toasting the hamstrings. And we're completely done. Oh. I'm really gassed. And now the hardest part of this workout, of the hack squat, is gonna be to put all the weights back. So it's the worst part. But, gotta do what we gotta do. Alright. Alright, it's next. Barbell RDLs. Gonna keep your back straight. Head down. Slow down. Let it scrape across your legs. Back up. Alright, so that's it for the video. Now, that was four exercises. It was a seated hamstring curl, calf raises, hack squats, and we finished off with RDLs. It was two exercises for the hamstring, one exercise for the quads, and then one exercise for the calves. Because we hit the seated hamstring curl, because first of all, if you want to focus on the hamstrings, it's the hamstring focus day. So we hit that first, and also it warms up your legs for your heavy pressing movement. So usually I do that anyways first. So that worked, uh, got our legs warmed up for the hack squat, and we went into a calf machine, which actually worked our mobili mobility for our ankles, so our ankles won't go up too much. You know how when you go down and they come up, it will kind of stay a little more flat because your ankles will be a little more warmed up. So that's how we did that, and we did the quad movement was the hack squat, and then we finished it off with the RDL, so fully finished off lengthening the hamstrings, so that was a full hamstring-focused leg day. And then, here's the pump. Oh wait, I don't have anything underneath. Just kidding, I got shorts. Okay, so, I don't know what y'all can see. 
Just pass it out. The hamstring. I think my pants are back. So that should be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe, comment, share the video. Thank you for watching. Peace.